guys welcome back to my channel i am here with little blue my herman's tortoise as you can see so for today's video as you guys can see by the title um this is going to be kind of like an update video and chit chat video as well as me showing you guys blue i have gotten quite a few comments recently from people who miss blue and were wanting to see him since i haven't shown him since my last feeding video where i kind of did it like this so i thought that i would do another video since you guys were missing him i got a few comments on my instagram too from people who were really wanted me to make a Herman's tortoise video so I thought that today I would update you guys on what's been going on where I've been I haven't uploaded in over a week as well as showing you guys little blue my Herman's tortoise so you guys could see him and get updated and all that good stuff so I'm gonna go on and feed him because he knows that there is something in these little dishes so because spring is right around the corner we actually have some dandelions popping up in the front yard I was so excited to see them I actually saw them two days ago for the first time so I thought that I would pick a few of them and then give them to blue today so I've been soaking them in some water just to make sure that they're clean, but I have a few of those. I also have a few of his tortoise pellets that are here. This is the Missouri Crop Child, and I've been soaking them in water, so we're gonna give him some of those. And then I have a little bit of romaine, so I'm gonna go in and dump those out, and then we will get caught up on what's been going on and what I've been up to and where I've been for the past week and a half. Look, I got some dandelions, you want them? Yes, delicious. Because these pellets are so messy, after you soak them and he gets into them, they're all over his face. We're gonna go on and soak him whenever he's done eating, but we'll just let him eat as much as he's gonna eat right now. Um, so where have I been? So there has been so much going on. I posted an update on Instagram, I think yesterday morning, just kind of telling you guys I've had a lot going on and there's been a whole lot going on in my personal life, but I'm ready to update you guys because I do feel like you guys deserve to know where I've been, you know, just like a little bit and there's been a lot going on so I wanted to elaborate. So I guess I should go back to the beginning of what's been going on. Um, first of all, I do want to tell you guys for anyone who is curious, Bagel and Biscuit are doing really good. They are still in their separate tanks but Biscuit's quarantine is actually over. I will tell you why I haven't moved him over yet. There's just been, again, so much going on in my personal life that I haven't had a chance to like do a whole video of like moving him over um, because that is going to be like a project in itself just moving him over to bagels tank but um, I will get into that so I guess I should go back to the beginning so basically three weeks ago um, when things were simpler you guys saw me introduce biscuit he's been doing great and I told you guys that basically once I got back from a trip that Patrick and I have had planned for a few months now to visit family that basically I would be filming a video introducing him to bagel and that would give me about a month to get his quarantine completely done to make sure he was completely illness free and all that and all of that has still been on track however whenever I got back from my trip a lot of other stuff happened which is what I'm going to tell you guys so Basically, um, three weeks ago, around the same time that I got Biscuit and started at quarantine, um, Patrick and I actually found a farm that we wanted to buy. It's honestly a really long story, but basically, we found it kind of unexpectedly. We went and saw it, we loved it, and we decided to put an offer on it. Um, it was honestly, I felt like something that we could never get. It was honestly a long shot. Um, we didn't think that they were actually going to accept our offer because we offered them substantially less than they were asking, but we did love it. And it was kind of like that long shot ultimate dream home that you would love. Um, just to give you guys an idea, it was like a big white 1900s colonial house with like five bedrooms three bathrooms. It was absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And the best part is it was actually on four acres. So I would be able to have horses and a barn and all that. So it really did check off every single box that Patrick and I have been looking for other than the fact that it was out of our price range. So Patrick and I just said, what the heck? We decided to offer on it. Um, and again, this was right after I got Biscuit about three weeks ago. And surprisingly, they accepted our offer. We couldn't believe it. We literally offered them like so much less, like over $60,000 less than their asking price, which I know is like wild, but also like it was honestly overpriced, but it was still like this market is thriving right now. The real estate market in Nashville is booming. There's a lot of properties we would love to have that are just, you know, really, really expensive and they're only getting more expensive, you know? 
but we were in love with this land. Um, we loved the four acres. We loved the colonial big white house. I mean, it was so beautiful, so beautiful. Um, so basically, they accepted our offer. We honestly couldn't believe it. Like, it really did feel almost too good to be true. But we were really hopeful, really excited, and we said, okay, we're going to do this. Like, let's go for it. Um, unfortunately, three days after they accepted our offer, we did have to go on our trip to visit family, which we had had planned months prior. So we went on and we visited family and all of that, and that, that trip was great. And it gave us about a week while we were gone to go on and schedule the inspection on the house to make sure that the foundation was good, you know, the house was good to buy, and you know, that we would just know what we were getting ourselves into. Whenever you buy a new home, it's really important to do that. So the week we were gone, we were actually kind of relaxed because we knew we were under contract to buy this house. No one could take it from us. Um, there was no kick out clause or anything like that. So the house was ours and we were really excited. The only thing standing in our way was really inspection. Um, and then of course negotiations, if there is anything wrong and so on. So we were really excited to get back. And when we got back, which was about five days ago, um, we had our inspection coming up, which actually happened two days ago. Um, we did the inspection. We got our results yesterday morning. And now we were supposed to move into negotiations phase where we look at everything that is wrong with the house. We decide what needs to be fixed before we close and confirm that we buy it and it's ours. And basically negotiations just go back and forth between you and the seller. Um, and so that would be our next step in the process. Now, this whole time that all this is going on, I decided not to tell any of you. I decided not to, you know, announce it publicly. I didn't tell my friends, didn't tell my parents. Literally, Patrick and I were just keeping this very tight-lipped because we were honestly so afraid that something would happen and that we would lose it. So we just decided to kind of keep it under wraps, you know, until it was 100% ours. Are you done? You ready to take a soak? It feel good. It's so warm. So we're getting ready to go into the negotiation phase. The house is under contract. It's ours. There's no kickout clause, so no one can come in and like offer more than us and take it or anything like that. Everything's looking really good. There were things wrong with the house that they did find in inspection, a few major problems. However, the price point was negotiable. Also, we were getting quotes to see how much those things would cost to fix. So it was very much doable, very much possible. And honestly, we've been really excited. So we're getting ready to go into the negotiation phase and this morning, literally a few hours ago after I woke up, my agent called me this morning and when I answered the phone, she says, so I have bad news, um, your seller died last night. And I was like, what? And she was like, I'm so sorry, your seller died. We don't know what's gonna happen with her estate so there's not really any path forward at the moment to get your house. Let me just say and preface everything I'm about to say with it's super sad that she passed away. She was an older woman. I knew this. Um, it's really sad and I feel awful for her family. However, it does really, really suck because we were so close and we worked so hard and we spent $600 on the inspection. So that was really hard to like know that we just lost that money essentially. Obviously, it's really sad that she passed away. It's awful, but also it just really tracks with my luck. I mean, that tracks, you know, that I would try and buy a house and get under contract and then lose it. It just really sucks. I thought that if we lost this house, you know, I thought it would be because they didn't accept our offer or the inspection would be so awful we couldn't afford to do the fixes or maybe we would get outbid, which wasn't even possible with this house because of the way our contract was written up. So all of the like things that could have taken it from us weren't happening, you know, like it was honestly in our court, everything was going great. And then unfortunately she passed away. So. Basically, we don't know what's gonna happen. Um, as of right now, um, it's not ours. It's not under contract anymore. We literally can't go forward with anything because there's no seller anymore. So it's just a mess, honestly. We don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know if she left a will to a family member. There's just, it's just a mess. Like there's so much to it. Honestly, I'm not gonna go into details, but um, yeah, it's just really disappointing and Obviously, it's really sad, but there's also the other side, which is we were so sure and we were so excited and we were so close. And so, yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on for three weeks. Um, it's just been a lot of work. We've been working so hard to get this house ready to be put on the market. Are you done? You ready to get out? I think I'm going to go put him in his enclosure so he can dry off under his basking light. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. We love you. Bye, boo. So yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on for the past three weeks. That's what's been taking up all of my spare time. Um, just lots and lots of work going into getting this house ready to sell. 
and then also working on buying the other house which like I mentioned um, is now over and for the foreseeable future we don't think it's gonna work out and it's just really complicated and the house did need a lot of work as well which we were willing to do but it's just I can't even explain how complicated it is when the owner passes away it's just a lot of legalities and stuff and it's just it really sucks so yeah that's what's been going on I feel like my luck is awful I mean I already know this I think I'm more on the acceptance side of it now like I'm moving towards acceptance and just realizing how hard this is actually gonna be to get a farm that we love and that meets every single checklist that we wanted which this one did which is like this was actually the ultimate ultimate house it was so old and so beautiful and big and like I know I sound like a broken record whenever I make these videos like updating you guys on something that's falling apart but like I mean if you've ever moved or you've ever looked for your dream home that you've longed for for literally eight years now I've wanted a big white historic farmhouse like if you've ever had a dream like that then you know how hard it is to find the perfect one and this one was very close to perfection like probably the closest we've come the first one that we lost a while back um, that I told you guys about before in a past video is also one that we lost that I absolutely loved and I would still take it today in a heartbeat so that's two that we found that we truly loved and we were so close and this one we actually got under contract which is like miraculous in and of itself um, it's just really unfortunate that like the owner passed away literally right after we did our inspection so again it is really sad for her and her family it's so tragic and obviously like nothing that can be helped you know and I understand that but I think because my track record of my luck with things is just so bad, I'm just like, that tracks, you know? But we will push on. We are going to continue to look and hopefully find something. We're not giving up. We're just like sitting still at the moment. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Blue for what little time you did. We gave him a little soak and now he's drying off. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing him while you could. Stay tuned because for the next video, we will be moving Biscuit over to Bagel's Tank, which is really exciting. I'm probably going to film that today or tomorrow. So yeah, stay tuned for that video. If you enjoyed this video and this update seeing blue, be sure to subscribe down below and also hit the notification bell. Again, thank you guys so, so, so much for always being so supportive in the comments. Um, when I make one of these type of videos about updating you guys on all the mess that is my life, uh, you guys are really supportive and I really appreciate all the positive comments. It really does mean a lot to me to know that, you know, you guys are out there rooting and it just means a lot to me to see all the supportive comments, um, especially if I'm feeling like crap because of, you know, circumstances. So, and also thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I know that I've been saying we're moving for like four months now, but but it took us a year to get this house um, to find it. So it's really hard, especially in Nashville. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Be kind. Bye.